Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square, and in this video, I'm going to give you a quick rundown of how you can edit the SEO settings for an individual page, blog post, and product in your Squarespace website. Feel free to use the timestamps below to jump ahead. Let's get started. Here we are inside Squarespace version 7.1, and on the left-hand side of my screen, I'm gonna navigate to my pages. Here, you'll see I have all of the different page types in my main navigation. We're going to adjust the SEO settings for every single one of these, starting with the standard page. You'll see the gear icon appear when I hover over that page. Selecting this gear icon, I can now choose SEO from the page settings. This is where I can add a custom title and description optimized for search results. I'll go ahead and select close and show you one more time for a standard page. Click on this gear icon and navigate to SEO to add a custom title and description. I'll go ahead and select close and we'll hop into a blog. Clicking on this gear icon next to the blog title, I can open up the settings for this blog collection. Clicking SEO on the left-hand side is where I can add a search engine optimized title and description for the blog collection, but not for the individual posts. I'll go ahead and select close and we'll navigate to blog content to edit those. Selecting these three dots for an individual post, I can open up the settings for an individual blog post. Here, you'll see the same SEO option on the left-hand side. This is where you can add a unique search engine optimized title and description for an individual blog post in your Squarespace website. One last time, we click the gear icon next to the blog title to access the SEO settings for the blog collection. And for an individual post, select these three dots and select setting to access settings for that individual blog post. Navigating back to our main pages menu here, let's go ahead and move on to events. When I click into the events option, I can select the gear icon next to the event's title. This is where I can find the event list settings and just like we saw with the blog, we can add a custom optimized title and description for the entire event collection. If I select close here, you'll see a very similar option to the blog post. Clicking on these three dots for an individual event, I can select the settings and navigate to the SEO options to add an optimized title and description for the individual event. I'll go ahead and select close and we'll navigate back out of here and move on to course. Clicking into a course, you'll see the gear icon again. Selecting this icon will open up the settings for the course and you guessed it, we can add a search engine optimized title and description for the course itself. Now individual lessons have a different setting. At the time of recording this, individual lessons do not have their own SEO information. When you click on this three dots to access the lesson settings, you won't find an SEO tab here. The only search engine optimization data that we can add to a course is for the entire course collection. And again, we need to select this gear icon to access the course settings. I'll go ahead and navigate back to our website menu and let's move on to portfolio. Selecting the gear icon next to the portfolio title will open up the portfolio settings. And here we have the SEO tab where we can add an optimized title and description for the portfolio collection. If I select close, we can click on the three dots and update the SEO settings for an individual project inside the portfolio. By selecting settings, you'll see this has its own SEO tab where we can add an optimized title and description for the individual project. I'll go ahead and select close and we'll navigate out of here and head to store. Store and videos are very different, so stick with me here. Hopping into store, you'll see the gear icon and again, the SEO tab. This is where you can add an optimized title and description for your entire store. Editing this for an individual product is very different. Select the three dots and select edit at the very top of the product menu. Here you'll be taken to the product page. Under the marketing section, you can click this on the left-hand side of your screen. It'll scroll down to that section for you. This is where you need to select edit, and then you can add a search engine optimized title and description for an individual product. Because this is so different, I'm going to select cancel and we'll do that together one more time. From our main pages menu, click into your store, hover over the product that you'd like to add SEO information for, click the three dots and select edit, select marketing on the left-hand side, and then select edit underneath the preview of the search description. Here you can add a search engine optimized title and description for an individual product. After you've changed that, select apply and save, and that will change the SEO information for that individual product in your store. Now, last but not least, let's talk about video pages. Clicking into our videos, we can click the gear icon here and add the SEO information, an optimized title and description for the entire video collection. If we select close and navigate to all videos, this is where we can access the settings for an individual video page. Click the three dots when you hover over that specific video and select edit video. 
On the left-hand side of your video menu, you'll see the SEO option where you can add an optimized title and a description. I'm sure you put a lot of work into your Squarespace website, so let's make sure that the right people can find it. To learn more about search engine optimization for Squarespace, check out the related content linked in the description below. And be sure to sign up for my email list at insidethesquare.co forward slash email. I'll send you tips and tricks every week about how to make Squarespace uniquely yours. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash email. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Stick around for the next one. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. Find everything you need to make Squarespace uniquely yours at InsideTheSquare.co. That's InsideTheSquare.co.